Welcome to Conversations from the Heart. If you are new to my channel, I'm Waleska Lasso, your gratitude coach. And today I am addressing a question that was sent to me by a member of this community. And her question is, how can one find gratitude when a relationship ends and you are in so much pain? So thank you so much for this thought provoking question. I'm sure that there are many of you who can relate and can benefit from, from your inquiry. So the first thing that you have to remember is that when a relationship ends, it always brings feelings of sadness, anger, regret, but more than anything, it brings fear. When a relationship ends, fear of the unknown is the predominant emotion. What scares us the most is not knowing what lies ahead and our minds start to create stories and we are confronted with this crazy questions that echo in our mind all the time. I can remember uh, in my times feeling, oh, here I go again, alone. What am I gonna do now? Or what if I don't find someone that I'm gonna love as much? And the worst question of all is, what is wrong with me that he couldn't love me? If you are going through a breakup right now, you may be wondering some of the same questions that I had. Even when the relationship is bad and toxic, we still grieve the loss. So imagine how much worse it is when a relationship ends due to unforeseen circumstances and love alone is not enough to keep you together. It hurts, I know. So with all this pain that we feel, right? how can we find gratitude in those moments when all we think and feel is the massive loss of the person we so desperately want to be with? How can one find gratitude in things that we don't wanna experience? It's difficult. So here are a few things for you to consider in those moments and hopefully they can help you ease your pain a bit and shift your perception of your loss. Acknowledge your pain. The first thing you need to do is to acknowledge that the sadness and the fear that you are experiencing are normal physiological reactions. When deeply sad, don't let anyone shame you for feeling this way. No matter how good or bad the relationship was, you are entitled to feel what you feel. So no, you're not stupid and you're not weird for feeling you know, what you're feeling because your heart is in direct proportion of how you felt for that person. And that is a beautiful thing. Okay, it had nothing to do with them, but everything to do with you. Because if you had not loved that much, you wouldn't be hurting this much. Embrace the pain. Embrace the pain you are in. Don't push it aside. Don't try to pretend that it isn't there and don't bury it. Be grateful that you feel pain because it means you're alive. So give yourself the time to grieve your loss. If you try to bypass the pain, you are prolonging the very thing that you're trying to heal. So my advice is embrace the pain with gratitude that you can feel and love the way you do. Okay? Be grateful that your heart could love that much and that deeply. Believe that all things happen for a reason and or a purpose. It sounds cliche, but it's cliche because it's true. Unfortunately, its purpose may not be as apparent to us in the moments that we need it the most. But knowing that this pain, this chapter that is ending is happening so that it can give birth to a new chapter in your life. And depending on how you react to the one that's ending will determine how great the next one can be. So I am not saying at all that you're not going to be sad and you're not going to have those moments, but knowing that there's a master plan, that there is a purpose 
will help sustain you in your faith because there is always a way out of your dark moments. And I'm not gonna lie to you. It takes faith and it takes um, the strength to leap into the unknown with the certainty that although it hurts right now, that you're going to be okay. Focus on what you had rather than on what you've lost. So find gratitude in the moments that you had together rather than focusing on all that lost potential, all those things that you still wanted to accomplish with that person because that only creates more pain and desperation. But when you shift your focus to those moments of magic and love and care that you had together, your heart would swell with gratitude rather than fear. Catch yourself from removing the negative experiences. The mind is here to protect you. And whether it is the passing of a loved one or a relationship ending, the mind has a tendency to only remember the good and starts to edit all those things that weren't so good, all those experiences. It just, for some reason, it edits them out. So keep those because there is a reason why relationships end, why things didn't work. And what is good is to remember both. Remember the good, but also remember the bad so you can have a more balanced picture because if you don't do that, you run the risk of immortalizing your formal partner and overextending your pain. The universe removes what is not meant for you. I am a firm believer that the universe is forever protecting you, conspiring you for your highest and greatest good. And she will often remove people, things and circumstances that are not longer contributing towards your life path. People come into your lives for all kinds of reasons. They have contracts, lessons, and experiences that we must go through. But once those contracts are completed, these people have a way of being removed from, from our path so that we can continue on to the next. And I know that this is difficult especially if you are the one that was left, but it requires faith, right? It requires you to exercise your faith muscle because what is meant for you will gravitate to you. What is not meant for you will transition out of your life. So as difficult as it may be for you right now, be grateful and say, thank you universe for loving me enough to remove the people from my path that are not meant for me. Focus on the lesson and not the hurt. We are given relationships with whom we have the maximum opportunity of learning and soul growth. So think about all the things that this relationship has taught you. Whatever the circumstance was that drove you to end it, it has lessons that will help you in your life ahead. Even when the relationship is horrible and explosive and disruptive and has left you devastated, there are lessons wrapped in your pain for you to uncover. And it will either teach you to become more discerning, more compassionate, less naive, more forgiving, and perhaps even more aware. Okay, the point is that there are lessons that will highlight for you the areas of your life that you need healing. And that is always something to be grateful for. So try focusing on the lessons because when you find the lesson in anything that happens in your life, when you detach from the hurt, right? when you let go of that hurt, you gain incredible wisdom. Everything passes. Keep remembering that this too shall pass. Yes, another cliche, but it's true. When we are in the midst of our pain, we tend to think in exaggerated and absolute terms, and we feel that the pain we are in will never subside. 
And as a repeat survivor of heartbreak, I can tell you with certainty that it will pass. Everything in life passes, the good and the bad. So be kind and patient with your heart as you go through this journey. Find gratitude in that your beautiful heart will mend with time. It will heal and you will find the courage and the strength to love again. I hope this message reaches and touches you to bring you comfort. Your heart is strong and the bruises will heal in time. You will not only survive this, but you will thrive and you will come out a stronger and wiser person with a greater perspective. In the meantime, stay grateful and remember that this too shall pass and I will see you on the next episode.